All right, boys and girls, it is buffs and nerfs time. That's right, the public test server is open, so you guys can go check out all these changes that are coming down the pipe. But I'm going to give you the basics of what's getting the buff, what is getting the nerf. Let's get to it. So, first thing out the door, borer. Um, durability reduced from 330 to 231. They say it's too effective at low power score, so they're giving it the nerf bat. The Spitfire, pretty solid damage reduction at 10%. Uh, they're going to reduce the damage. They say it's too good at middle power scores between five and 6,000. The R2 Chill, uh, basically the radiator is the only option, and they're going to make it less great. Don't know why you would reduce radiator effectiveness, but hey, is what it is. Lots of nerfs. Uh, the Tame Air is getting a cooldown speed increase from 50 to 60%. Um, okay. They're trying to make coolers a real alternatives to radiators. Because, yeah, radiators have been way better than coolers for forever. So maybe that's something they are trying to tweak there. Um, okay. So the Defender, they're saying it's designed for low uh, power score. And they're giving it a durability increase. So it's actually going to see a buff. So that's a little piece of interesting news right there. Uh, the Therm, 10% buff. Synthesis, 10% buff to damage. Chameleon. Now at long range, the silhouette of an armored car becomes barely visible if it's moving at a speed of 80 kilometers per hour. Previously, it was 100 kilometers per hour. Um... Now, the silhouette becomes visible from a distance of 100 meters. Previously, it was 70 meters. So this sounds like a chameleon nerf, um, making it easier to see cloaked rigs coming at you. Um, they're saying that these are too easy to use and the player doesn't require skill. Uh, I'd argue a lot of skill goes into when to hit your cloak and how to use it, but is what it is. Hot Red is getting a power score increase. The IR, RN Seal, one of the best modules in the game, if you're going to use anything with cooling, gets a massive power score increase from 275 to 400. Um, trying to nerf it when being used with shotguns. They're saying the radiator's too good with shotguns. Ouch. Uh, the Shiver, getting a solid power score increase from 275 to 400. Looks like they're trying to stop seal clubbing to a degree. We'll see. Uh, the AC-72 Whirlwind gets a buff of 70. 17%, sorry. Uh, the argument, spread format changed from square to rectangular, closer to shotgun spread. So that sounds like a nerf for the argument. But maximum spread reduced by 25%. That sounds like a buff. Says we'll increase the convenience of using the nail gun. I guess we'll have to wait and see. Thunderbolt, 10% nerf across the board. The Gremlin... The required force of impact to activate the perk was reduced by 50% and the damage increased by 10%. So buff to the gremlin, which was already a very solid uh, shotgun anyway. Um, interesting they decided to do that. The bootstrap gets a mass reduction. Hey, that's a little good news right there from 840 to 576. Um, okay, so that's going to make it a little bit easier to use. The yokai... Gets a bonus to projectile explosion radius um, of 150%. So it's, you know, half again better. Bonus to blast damage from the weapons perk increased 40% to 50 So Yokai getting some much needed love. Uh, the Nest didn't know it needed a buff, but it gets a fat old buff of 15%. Okay, let's take a look at the Quantum. To activate the perk, the car must not take damage for 4 seconds. Previously, it was 10 seconds. Yeah, the Quantum Cab really stunk in that regard. Sorry, guys. Mr. G's been getting spam calls for health insurance all day. Um, that's a huge buff to the Quantum because before, its perk was nearly unusable. So let's hope that the Quantum becomes usable again. Next up, the Claw. They nerfed the bonus um, to charge from each of the wheels um, from 5% to 4%, but it's just a tiny bit... Um, they said, look, when using it with medium high power score weapons, it was too powerful. So they've tweaked that. What have they done to the cockpit? 
Maximum bonus damage from perk reduced to 50% down to 40. Yeah, there were a lot of builds with the cockpit where you could just really cheese your, your damage. Bonus received from epic boosters is down. Bonus received from rare boosters is down. Basically, the bonus is down across the board with cockpit. Um, they're saying people are using it at high power score levels, and it's a perfect choice for Leviathan builds. Yep. You're seeing everybody rocking their Levi's with the cockpit, so they've multiply hit it with a nerf bat. Blight. The duration of the perk is reduced from 8 seconds down to 6. That's too bad. I like my green fire. They're saying high 14,000 power score builds are using Blights too much, so they're nerfing it. Uh, the Chameleon Mark II is going to get a similar nerf to the other cloaking that we saw earlier, making it easier to see. Uh, as soon as you're going 80 kilometers an hour, they can see you a little bit, and um, they can see you from a distance of 100 meters. So you're going to be able to see them coming a lot more. The Draco, which was super effective, getting hit with a nerf bat, 10%, um, and it's reducing the ammo. So they're nerfing the Blight, and they're nerfing the Draco. So what we're seeing is solid nerfs to shotguns across the board, nerfs to fire, uh, a little bit of love for auto cannons. Uh, Hammerfall gets a durability bump of a little bit, okay. The Needhog gets a solid damage buff at 15%. The Harvester gets a durability reduction of quite a bit, from 765 down to 576. But they also throw in a max a mass reduction, um, so still solid nerf all around. Once again, Autocan is getting some love. The AC-80 still wins 17% buff, that is a fat buff. Now is the time to own some auto cannons so you guys can sell those. Uh, and the fortune gets a damage increase of 10%. Guys, there are a lot of a lot of buffs and nerfs, but it looks like they're really trying to make um, seal clubbing a little bit harder and lower power scores. Um, shotguns really getting nerfed. So your your radiators getting the nerf. Um and some melee weapons and fire getting a heavy, heavy nerf. Let me know, guys, what you think down below in the comments. And I'm going to catch you guys on the next one. Like and subscribe for all things cross out. Or don't. I'm not your mom. I can't tell you what to do.